Hello, yeah, in this video, I want to show you how to fit uh, GLMMs using R. Uh, GLMMs uh, stand for Generalized Linear Mixed Model. Um, so first I'll load uh, some libraries, uh, LME4. Uh, we're going to use the GLMER function for fitting GLMMs. Um, another one is the GLMMTMB. Uh, also for fitting GLLMs. Uh, and uh, there's a library TMB that is um, uh, a package uh, that really facilitate uh, the use of GLMM TMB. Uh, let's load those libraries and also tidyverse uh, for creating um, data sets, uh, set a random seed. Uh, we want a uh, 100 subjects and five repeat measures, create subject ID, time points. We create a one categorical covariate and then two continuous covariate. And we calculate random intercept, random intercept for the binary variable, and uh, random intercept for the count variable, random intercept uh, okay, here. And we calculate the linear predictors for the binary. Um, variable. Um, so this is for the probabilities uh, for the binary variable, given this uh, linear combinations of the predictors. And then we create the binary variable. Okay. Uh, then we create uh, a Poisson a regression. We create a count data with the AR1 correlation structure. So it will be 0 0.7 error count, uh, and then do a loop. Um, Create the errors um, and then calculate the linear predictors, uh, expected counts, and then create count variable using the R poise function. Okay. And then we assemble everything into a longitudinal data set. This is what it looked like. So you got a subject ID, uh, and you got a time, uh, and then you got a binary variable and a count variable. And then you have a covariate, categorical covariate, and you get continuous one, continuous two covariates. Okay. So for fitting GLM for the binary variable, we can actually use uh, first of all GLMER from the LME4 package. And um, so this uh, function can model random slope and random intercept. Uh, and you can see the syntax is the GLMER. They got the formula, um, and you got you know binary variable tier the covariate cat plus covariate count one, covariate count two, and then you have one uh, you know condition on subject. Uh, so this basically you're talking about um, a um, random effects uh, for its subject here. Oh, let me see if I can. OK. Um, actually, I'll just put it here. OK, so this is the whole uh, syntax. Uh, family equal to binomial, link equal to logic. And then you can print out the uh, outputs. Uh, it's uh, similar to the output from uh, uh, linear mix models, but uh, it tells you it's used uh, jet, um, maximum likelihood uh, with a Laplace approximation um, algorithm. So it calculated the AIC, BIC values. Um, and uh, you got the scaled residuals, random effects, uh, and then the fixed effects containing the beta estimates and the p-value for inferences. Uh, and then you got uh, correlation of the fixed effects. Okay. Yeah, and um, so this is a. Uh, how to fit a GLM for binary variable using GLMER. Uh, another way is we can use the GLMM TMB package. And uh, so the, here's the syntax. 
Um, let me also hit the return here. And this is a similar, we'll also just use one uh, random effects on the subject. Um, and then we print out, uh, if you compare this output versus the previous output, you can see they're identical. So basically they're using the same algorithm. Um, so got all the estimates uh, exactly the same. Okay. Um, if you want to model the count data, then unfortunately, uh, the GLMER function cannot be used to model the autocorrelation, the within subject correlation. So it basically the only model, um, you know, the random effects, um, but cannot really like within subject. Okay. Um, so for modeling within subject, uh, like serial correlation, you have to use the GLMM TB, TMB function. Uh, and this here's the syntax. Um, so let me hit here. Uh, be careful here, you have to use um, the AR1. You have to force the time into a factor, otherwise you'll get an error message. And then you got plus zero conditional subject ID. And then uh, data equal to longitudinal data, family equal to Poisson, link equal to log. Okay. So, and you hit the uh, run the syntax and you print out the uh, output. It's similar structure. Um, you got some uh, The, the call, the formula, the um, AIC, BIC, log likelihood, next to two times the log likelihood and degree of freedom for residuals. You got a random effects estimate, and then you got um, the coefficient, the conditional model uh, with beta estimate and the p values. Okay. So this is a really a very simple demonstration about how to fit GLMs using R. Um, and uh, for GLMER and uh, GLMMTMB, uh, the later is more sophisticated. Uh, it can model more sophisticated data structure. For example, it can even model zero inflated data. Okay. And also, uh, GLMMTMB has fewer convergence issues. You know, when you're working with uh, complicated model like GLMs, sometimes you run into convergence issues, some numerical issues, uh, but uh, GLM and TMB is more robust. Um, and also uh, GLM and TMB can model within subject correlation. So I would recommend you think about uh, using the GLM and TMB uh, for fitting GLMM models. All right, uh, this is a kind of a very introductory example of uh, fitting GLLM using R. Uh, there are many, many packages uh, for fitting GLLM in R, many different R packages, but uh, many of them have glitches. Um, I think based on my, based on my experiences, I all highly recommend uh, GLLM and TMB. Okay, thanks for watching.